what's up guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in today in this video guys i want to talk to you about bribes and why they're important well actually i'm just going to do this let's go ahead and get started with the video by showing you guys some charts everyone talks about price everyone talks about numbers let's get rid of all the jibber jabber and fluff talk let's go ahead and get into this let me show you kebab token and beethoven token next to each other these are both yield farming tokens, massively inflationary. I mean, like crazy, like, I don't know, three, 400% inflation per year. But let me show you Kabop. Kabop, as you can see here, it's basically down over 99.9999999%, which is not good. It's no bueno. Like it's really, really bad. And look at Beethoven X. Beats, for some reason, is up over 400% from the lows. That's crazy. Like, wow, how, this is extraordinary. How does this happen? Okay, so now that you guys are seeing these charts and kind of understanding what brides can potentially do or what they are able to do, now what are they? In this video, guys, I'm gonna to talk to you about bribes, how you can participate, what tokens are participating in bribes and what you need to look for. Let's go ahead and get into this video by talking about what bribes are. So bribes are basically for any protocol or let's just say, for example, curve, because most people know what curve is in order to get more liquidity for your token pair. You need to have more rewards there. You don't need to, but if I'm a farmer, and there's 10% APR for stable coins here or 20% for stable coins here, I'm probably going to go for the one with 20%. Well, not probably. I will go for the one that's 20% because it's a higher yield. Now, this is able to direct liquidity by giving a higher incentive. Now, in order for the protocol to decide which pools and which pairs has a, I don't know, X amount of rewards or a certain amount of rewards, token holders for the protocol have to vote where the rewards go. Now, let me show you guys on Beethoven Finance. You can see right here, this was the farming gauge incentive. They usually vote on these and these go out for about one to two weeks. And these are voted on every 14 days or sometimes a little bit less. And what happens is in order for a protocol to get extra incentives on their gauge, what they will do is they will bribe the Beethoven holders or curve holders or any of the other token holders that are participating in these bribes. These typically happen with protocols that have a lot of volume, a lot of liquidity, and well, as you know, liquidity attracts traders and traders attract liquidity. It's a consistent flywheel. And the reason that's the case, because if you have deep liquidity, that attracts more traders because they get better prices. You attract more liquidity again after you get more traders because when they're paying the swap fees, they're paying fees and liquidity providers basically get paid more. So you guys can see the give and take there. And if we look at bribes just in general, a bribe is not a bribe is not a bribe because having a governance token for Beethoven finance and having a say in a vote in that is entirely different than something like, um, I don't know. Uh, polypop finance or just one of those um, degen forks or those degen farms and this is important to understand because the token APRs are denominated in the actual governance token itself if you have a token that's down only and there's zero buy pressure on it you really cannot direct any liquidity period also another thing to keep in mind if you're unable to create your own pools and token pairs which most of them you can, then there really is no use case. Let's just give you an example. Say my protocol is named Drake Farm and I have the Drake token. Now, in order for me to get liquidity, I have a couple of options. The first is I can literally go straight in my protocol and say, hey, pair Drake with USDC and I'll pay you 50% APR. Or another option, instead of renting my own liquidity and paying out the wazoo for it, and also having, having the negative impact of people claiming the rewards and dumping on my token, I don't want that. So what I do is I go to someone like Curve or Beethoven Finance and say, hey, 
I'm gonna launch a pool over there. I list that pool. Basically, after I launch that pool, I'll say, okay, I'm gonna to commit to giving $50,000 or whatever amount of tokens as bribes to anyone who votes to my token pair or votes to have the token incentives from the current gauges going to my pool. So this would be like for Beethoven Finance, I would be voting to have Beats rewards going to my pool. And people are incentivized to do this as in the Beats holders because they're getting a bunch of my tokens which they can then dump and it's basically just some free money. I'm happy, they're happy, they get to dump my token. It's not as bad because if I direct liquidity by renting it and giving my rewards, it's gonna be more negative price action. And obviously there's, there's a fine line to it. Um, you can do the calculations on it and look into it. But theoretically right now, bribes are more profitable than renting liquidity by launching a liquidity pool token on your protocol. Now that you understand bribes, how they come into place, and a little bit how the bribe action works, if you don't understand it, that's okay. I'll still give you the example and show you what's happening and maybe it'll start to click. Sometimes it doesn't click, sometimes it does. Watch the video a couple times and you'll understand it. I'm gonna give the example of Beethoven Finance. There's several others that I'm speculating on and several others that I really, really like as bribe protocols. I'm not gonna talk about them in this video. I'll talk about them in the Discord. If you guys want to join the Discord, there's a link in the description below. Basically a bunch of videos that are not on YouTube are on Discord. And you'll also have access to the Discord to be able to chat with a bunch of other DeFi DGENs. So let's go ahead and show you guys what's up with Beats Finance. Now, this is the current gauges on Beethoven Finance. As you can see, most people voted on the monolith. Now, this is for Exodia. Now, why the pants would people vote on Exodia? I mean, come on, wouldn't people vote for something like beats the beats pool so they can get more beats or even like liquid driver because a lot of people like liquid driver or creditum or i mean i don't know uh spooky swap i mean geez why not i'm stinking 21 percent voted on exodio like what the snap anyways let me show you why if we go into the beethoven bribes this is a spreadsheet i got pulled up i'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out we'll see the monolith actually paid out $362 per 10,000 beats. So like this is 10,000 F beats. One F beat is worth like uh, 1.02 uh, phantom beats share. So that's how you can keep that in mind. You can always go on the Beethoven site to pull it up. But the point is, is like the ROI on that is crazy. I mean, look, $362 on 10,000 F beats. Now the investment of 10,000 F beats, uh, that's probably going to be like, I don't know, 12, $13,000. Um, but that's how you can keep that in mind. If you do $362 for every two weeks, so let's just say uh, 25 weeks to be on the safe side instead of 26. So we'll do 352 times 25. That's basically $8,800 right there. So just in bribes, you get a return on your investment. We aren't even talking about on Beethoven Finance. When you get F beats, those are or that is a yield bearing asset, and that's earning you about a 80 to 90 percent APR. So you're already doubling your money there, basically. And then also, when you have F beats, you can also stake those F beats to earn another 90 percent APR, which is again doubling your money. So you're doubling your money, doubling your money, and doubling your money. How much is that really doubling your money? Well, if you do two times two, that's four times two is eight. So basically you're eight Xing your money in one year. Something to keep in mind. And if you compound that, it'll probably be much more rapid. So that's how you can factor in those rates. Now that's just for Exodia. There are some other pools and rewards that you guys can see. As you can see, you also got this one here. Um, I don't know, this one's called like imp. I don't, I don't even know what this thing is. But I mean, people probably voted on it so they can get the free tokens and then dump on it. I mean, yeah, you're dumping on it, great and all, but I mean, <laughs> it's still doing the job. It's directing liquidity and people are incentivized to LP over there because the rewards are gonna be good. As you can see here, if you look, the stinking APR is 
It's because they voted on it. Like, what the snap? I mean, all, <laughs> great. Let's jump in. Let's see what happens. It's 612. Whatever. You, you guys get the point. Like, you see what these brides can do. Now, let me show you Exodia. I mean, just because it was the best pool. If we go to Exodia, which was right here, the monolith, we're going to go ahead and go to this pool and show you guys what's up. So we're now over at the monolith. This is 260% APR. Now, this pool value has $3 million in it, whereas the others had about 600 mil or 600,000 or about 400,000. I can't remember, whatever. I'm just getting over COVID. So like this brain is like foggy. Um, but anyways, guys, you guys get the point. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. This is the power of bribes. This is why they're so powerful. They direct liquidity because people see the rewards and they're like, oh, what the snap? Let me just show it, go ahead and show you guys the volume so you guys can see what's up. This is the volume right here. Now let's compare it to TVL. As you can see, after the bribes happened, we saw a spike in TVL. So this was going down and then we had the bribes. Now people are like, oh snap, let's go and pump it, pamp it. So this is for the imp. Let me go ahead and show you guys for Exodia. Let me show you guys TVL. As you can see here, there's a correlation between the bribes and getting a TVL. Sure, maybe it goes down a little bit, but you can see there is a correlation that the bribes increase TVL, period. Like even in a downtrend or slash bear market or you know, sideways action, whatever you want to call it, it still increases TVL. So got the job done for Exodia. They didn't have to spend their token and get dumped on. Yes, they had to get the bribes, but it costs much less than it did for using Beethoven Finance and allowing Beats to take the damage. And Beats can take the damage because they have people on the other side who are willing to buy them up, which is like Exodia or like Liquid Driver or Spooky Swap to purchase up these tokens and vote on these different gauges and incentives. Now, if we scroll up, you can see the overall value right here. Let me go ahead and show you guys what happened on here. For Monolith, they spent $252,000 in order to get how much liquidity? We need to go ahead and figure out when these bribes were active. Now, as you can see here today, which is the 23rd, uh, depending on when you watch this, um, it says that the gauge farm weights have been changed and the emissions are live. So this is when they take effect, which is on the 23rd. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the imp pool. You can see we literally jumped from 189,000 to 392,000 in TVL. Like literally, like that. Because people were like, bribes, fun, cool, bear market. But I still go because 613%. I always DJ, whatever. So let's see how much they spent on the bribes. If we go over to the imp, we can see 362. Now that was Exodia. Uh, here it is, Melody from, all right. So they spent $45,000 and in exchange, they immediately bumped their TVL from 189 to 392 million. So basically for every $1 spent, they got three or four dollars in tvl directed their way now that's really good like i mean that's super good <laughs> the returns on that no that is not normal i mean you've probably seen this many times if you go on different protocols and see what's up with them uh, they could barely do like one for one so that's just the power of it so you guys can understand it and obviously that's denominated in their token price so when they give it out and they didn't dump. So actually their token price is at highs at that point because most people are like, oh, whoa, let's go in front run the opportunity. Let's buy their token and deposit it in the pools, whatever. Um, you guys get the point. By the time they pay out the bribes, their token price is already juiced up and they haven't dumped it. So they're actually losing less tokens. But that's just the power of the bribes, just so you guys can see that. But now that you guys understand that point and see what's going on and why the bribes are like that, how do you guys do it? Well, it's simple. If you're on Beethoven Finance, all you had to do is stake beats. Now, when you stake beats, you literally come over to here on the proposals and you come vote. If you guys are in the Discord, everyone's notified when some of these proposals come out for the tokens that I'm looking at. So you will be alerted accordingly, but that will also teach you like, hey, look, this is what I look for. This is how I do it. That way those fish that you get fed 
in order to keep on fishing. You'll actually learn how to fish on your own. But anyways, if you look in Beethoven Finance, you guys can see the farming incentive gauge vote round four. This is also mentioned in the Beethoven Finance Discord. They make an announcement and say, hey, if you're staking, it's probably a good idea for you to vote. When you vote, you can automatically go to these pools right here and vote on which one you want. They're, look, they're going to be making a cleaner UI, something similar to like Votamac, that is for Tokamak, um, where they basically list all the pools, tell you the APRs for each. I think that would be awesome for the Phantom community. I know they got a bunch of them coming, so time will tell. We'll see what happens. Um, but basically, all you got to do is vote, and it's gasless. All you got to do is sign a transaction. There's nothing to it, and it's that easy. After you vote on the pool that you're wanting, so like you can even look on this spreadsheet and see, oh, okay, $279 for 10,000 F beats. Okay, hmm, $61, ooh, yeah, $61. I would rather do the 295 because you get more. Or wait, no, let's do Exodia because it's $362. It's a little bit more. So you can kind of give and take with that and also factor in just because they pay a larger amount. So for example, look, you have $168,000 here that doesn't mean that it will be a higher bribe amount. Why is that? Well, because if everyone votes on that same one because it's a higher dollar value, it also dilutes it for everyone else because you gotta share with everyone. So that's all you gotta do. You literally vote by selecting the pool, by using this data here. And once you use this data, you're literally just airdrop these tokens. Now they'll have a cleaner UI where you can claim them in the future, but that's it. It's like straight butter sauce. It's easy to do. The last thing I want to talk about with bribes is this. The reason why bribes are important is because this shows that other protocols are going to want the token itself. If you know that green button means up, red button means down. And when I say green, I mean buy, red means sell, like no bueno. It doesn't matter, stable coin or not. If you press the green button to buy, it goes up if you press the red button, it goes down, just so you guys can understand that. Now, going back to the bribes, it's important for the token itself because you're gonna have these other protocols that get this addiction to getting this liquidity at a very cheap rate. So what do they need to do? They need to buy the token that is accepting the bribes, which in this case would be Beethoven Finance. So if my protocol wanted to get more votes and more liquidity for my pools, what I do is I go buy beats and I can go stake it. Now, I don't have to do that. I can simply just keep bribing people or I can direct more liquidity by being something like a curve convex model and saying, all right, cool. Now, let me tell you a quick story of one of the funny bribes on how Frax actually played this. Now, Frax actually has a pool on curve and what they did is on convex, they bought or well, they bought a bunch of convex because they realized you can direct a lot of liquidity on curve to well through convex because they have most of the votes on curve to direct liquidity to their pool. Now, what was really interesting about this is they have a bunch of convex and with that convex, they're saying, hey, we want to take most of our votes to the frax pool on curve. Now, when this happened, they were able to farm and earn even more curve. Now, when this happened, they were able to then vote additional rewards to come over to Frax and repeat the process. So it was crazy. It was that flywheel that they created because they caught on to something early like this. Now, this is very important to do because when you catch things early like this, you can do really, really well. Now, this was just a overview on bribes, how you guys can participate in them and what they are and exactly what the deets are on them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys give me a like. And if you guys want to jump in the Discord, there's a link in the description below. Also in the Discord, I'll be talking about the other picks that I have for like the VE and Curve Convex plays. Um, obviously, it's not Curve Convex, but it's similar ones to that. That'll be in the description below as well. Let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 19, verses 14. Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. That's so true, man. So true. It's always nice to have a prudent wife if you got one. 
And the reason being is because they're always thoughtful before anything that they do. And sometimes that's not really taught. Even when you have someone just diligently teach someone, sometimes they just seem to be so stubborn and they don't want to learn. Something to keep in mind. Thanks for tuning in. You guys can also catch me on tweeters at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.